Hi folks and welcome to my floss tube. My name is Jacob de Graaf. I am the owner and designer at Modern Folk Embroidery and it's the 22nd December today which means it's day 22 of the holiday countdown stitch along with Evertote, Roxy Flosco and myself. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. 22 days already. It's incredible how fast it has gone. Um, I'm really enjoying seeing everyone's progress on the stitch along uh, and seeing how it is all turning out. Uh, it's just super, super exciting. Um, this is actually uh, uh, trial number two as my battery just died. Uh, but while I was looking at the video, um, I realized that this lovely bouquet that some friends of ours gave us a couple of days ago reminds me actually of the old telecasters that we used to have on, on public television. Uh, don't know if you remember them or if you had them in your country, but in the Netherlands, if you are, I guess, uh, sort of mid 40s around that age uh, or older you will remember the telecasters that we used to have here uh, they would sort of be in between television programs and talk all the shows uh, and say this is the next show but that's neither here nor there because you are here today because it's 22 which means that we're going to talk about a game um, so I know Caroline has got a really fun game that she's going to teach you um, I myself I'm really terrible at card games or dice games in general and I don't know any that I could explain to you but when I did some research on the website of the Rijksmuseum uh, a couple of months ago I found that they had lots of board games in their collection and one of the board games is a game that I think pretty much everyone who grew up in the Netherlands will definitely re uh, remember Ganzebord we call it Game of the Goose this is a game that has been popular throughout Europe. Some countries it's still popular, some countries it is not popular anymore. Um, I would really like to know if you have played this game uh, uh, or if you didn't know it actually, so let, let me know in the comments, it'll be quite fun to see that. Um, but it is super old, uh, they don't even know where it starts. Uh, the first ones, uh, the oldest known games or references to the first known games are about 500 years ago. Uh, and might be even from the time of the Templars. There are some stories that it might be related to them or that the Templars invented it. That's, of course, all just theories. There's no facts around that at all. Um, but what does remain is that nearly all of the Game of the Goose boards are roughly the same. They have the same pitfalls. They have the same bonus elements. They're always about geese. Um, and they have about 63 sort of... Uh, places that you need to run around and it's a, a, a racing game and it's super easy all you need is a board itself back in the day you would just get these from a printers uh, often these boards were just very sort of basic print paper that's why uh, they didn't last very long and that's why they're now sort of museum objects um, I just print this out on some cream colored paper sturdy paper and I cut them out and then put them on a piece of nice sturdy cardboard so it's nice and flat and we can play this game nicely on our table all you need is two dice just regular dice six-sided and some pawns i'm using monopoly ones because i really like them i love how they look they're very cute but you can use any pawn you can make your own pawns from a bit of clay it'll be a fun activity for kids to make little geese out of clay and paint them in nice colors uh, but yeah i'll be using mon monopoly ones I'm the dog, by the way, so we don't have fights about that. Um, yeah, it's a super, super fun game. It's super easy. The rules, which I'm not going to explain because they are on here. You can read all of them. Uh, you will get two files from me. In the description below, you will find a download to a PDF. You can just print that out on some paper, cut it out and stick it on some board or glue it together with some tape, whatever your preference is. And the second PDF is the game rules. Uh, the rules are super simple. You can make up your own rules or uh, you can follow the rules exactly as they are. I remember that we didn't use the gambling element on the game when I was a kid. I don't think it was part of the actual game when I was growing up. Uh, but you can play with chips or with pennies or something like that. And then sort of before you start, you put a penny in the pot and then you have to sort of uh, add pennies as punishments or several punishments on the board and then by the end the person who lands on 63 first wins the pot um, there are a couple of fun pitfalls there's the well which i always hated as a kid because it just makes you stuck there pretty much the whole game which is not fun 
uh, there's death which means that you have to start all over again right from the start here uh, but yeah it is a super super fun game as you can see uh, death and wells and bonus geese geese are good by the way because if you land on a goose you have to progress uh, the amount that you have just thrown with the exception of number nine right from the start because it would mean that you land on 63 straight away if you have a four and a five you end up on 53 if you have a three and a six you end up on 26 so you can progress straight down there um, what i forgot to say this board game is like i said in the collection of the Rijksmuseum, but it was a dutch board game so it was called ganzebord and i have translated the full text everything that you see on here all the little graphics i've translated it for you in uh, ye olden style so it looks like an old game and it's called the new and entertaining game of the goose and it has the instructions in english and all of the other things that are in english now uh, for your entertainment so you can download it now i hope you will play this game uh, and it will hope it will, will give you a lot of fun it's a fun game it's one of those games that you can play with the whole family. Um, it's for all ages, really. Uh, as soon as you understand how to throw a dice and do a bit of counting, then you can play this game. Uh, and it's uh, young and old will have fun with this one, I think. Um, that's it for me for today. I would love to hear uh, whether you played this game. Uh, so let me know in the comments uh, below here or if there is a different typical traditional game that you would play during the holidays. So let us know. I think a lot of folks will really enjoy reading through the comments and see what everyone was playing when they were kids during the holidays. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as I said, it's day 22. Uh, we will be back very soon again with uh, something else. So keep an eye on my channel and uh, I will see you very soon again. For now, have a great day. Enjoy your stitching. And bye-bye.